Philippe Brisbois on sensor tube. Uh, do you think the economy in Canada will crash? Economy in Canada has already crashed. Uh, it's already it's already done. Like businesses, there are certain. And by the way, in terms of turmoil, there are certain sectors that will do well, certain sectors that will not. Right. So depending on which uh, business, which market you are in, Canada, you've either gone bankrupt or you're making a shit ton of money. Right. Which which places have gone bankrupt uh, some retailers having a hard time restaurants man you got screwed if you open up a restaurant or a retail business in the last four years you got annihilated annihilated right if you're in the healthcare industry and you wanted bodily autonomy you spent tens of thousands of dollars years of training right working your ass off crazy hours right and then the government comes along and says you are not a human being you are cattle you will do what we tell you to do otherwise we will take away your job your income your license and you turn to the government and said fuck you motherfuckers you think i'm gonna bend the knee to you you don't scare me right and then the government takes away your license, your business license, your personal license, takes away, forces you to sell your home, live in your car, right? There are people, there are nurses in Canada that had spent tens of thousands of dollars on their education, years of training, senior nurses. While the healthcare system is collapsing, the Canadian government is provincial, the healthcare, the, but the federal government did it as well, right? They passed their mandates. They forced nurses to lose their jobs, lose their pension that they had been paying into for years, decades, right? And they couldn't make ends meet. And some nurses had to sell their homes. We even knew through nursing group, because I know this because my partner was a nurse, we told the government to go fuck themselves. She, she knew a nurse that was living in her car working as a cleaner seniority 20 plus years in nursing you would have had amazing health care for her uh, from her if you went to the hospital right she was forced to sell her home and was living in a car and working as a cleaner so it really depends what business you're in if your business in Canada is dependent, linked up with the government, you're fucked. Unless you own the government, which is fascism, which is what we have in Canada, right? In most of the Western world. If you're dependent on the government, on handouts, uh, them renewing your license for anything, right? Then you're playing with fire, right? Because in Canada, taxes are going through the roof. They're gonna tax the shit out of everybody. They're gonna squeeze you like fucking squeeze you, right? That's what the Canadian government's doing. That's what most Western governments are gonna do. Squeeze you, right? Give you blood, right? That's what they're gonna do. Their Canadian government in BC, BC government is not renewing licenses of farms that need water for their chickens and their crops, right? So it really depends what type of business you're in. If you're in the business of fucking over Canadians and you're linked up with the Canadian government, you might do very well, right? Freeland in Canada, our finance minister in Canada, two years ago, two years ago now, they took $2 billion of Canadian taxpayer money, right? And gave it to an institution to... Uh, help Canada grow in business and uh, green economy and shit like this, right? When questioned, right? When she was questioned as to what that business was, who managed it, have they produced anything? What are they going to do? She said, well, we don't know yet. We just took the money and gave it to people and they're going <laughs> to they're gonna, they're gonna do good. People are like, what? You took two billion dollars, and they check into the numbers. This is two years ago, so my memory might be, but it's two billion dollars around there, right? And they 
basically give it gave it to their own people money laundering paying people off right they took canadian taxpayer money and paid off whoever they wanted to pay off right that's what canada is that's what canada is anybody that thinks otherwise is delusional 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 